Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, new brewery alert for the channel. My favorite time. Uh, Turning Point Beer. They are in Bedford, Texas, courtesy of my man Eric. Uh, this is biscuits and gravy. So the label on this says it's an oat cream double IPA. I looked up their Instagram, Facebook, I looked on Untap. Nowhere on the internet does this show that this beer has lactose. Um, I was reading about it on the internet. Some homebrew sites were saying that when people brew oat cream IPAs, it just means that most of the time that they use oats to like up the mouthfeel. Um, so if this beer has lactose in it, it wasn't <laughs> said by the brewery. It's nowhere anywhere. So um, I'm going to take a leap of faith on this one and say it's just oats, hopefully. I mean, but like 99% of the time these days, I feel like brewers who are brewing hoppy beers with lactose, it, they say there's lactose and there was no mention of lactose anywhere in this beer. So hopefully not. Uh, it does say on the can, El Dorado Amarillo Simcoe Lupulin Powder. Please keep refrigerated. Uh, this beer is not dated. I think Turning Point's fairly new, um, but yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this label. It looks like a uh, picnic, um, like a picnic blanket that you'd put down. So 8.2 percent double IPA. Uh, did I say I got this from my buddy Eric? If I didn't, or if I did already, sorry. But if not, Eric, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much. Um, I've been reviewing Spindle Tap beers and we were talking on Twitter and he was like, hey, have you had anything, anything else from Texas? And I said, no, I haven't. And being the amazing person that he is, he sent some um, Turning Point beers to review. So I think, I'm pretty sure this is a hazy beer. Is there anything else that says on here? Brewed by Turning Point, Brown Trail, Bedford, Texas. I don't know where Bedford, Texas is. We're gonna use our answered duck hut and glassware. I just got this from my buddy Matt and it's fucking amazing. So answer is killing the glassware game with the with the video game stuff. So let's check this one out. It is hazy and I can actually smell it. So always, always, always fun to check out new breweries. New to me anyways, never heard of these guys. Um, like I said, I don't know where Bedford, Texas is. My brother-in-law's from Amarillo. I don't know much about Texas other than Houston, Austin, Dallas, San Antonio. <laughs> so no idea. But yeah, uh, let's get into this one. Looks awesome. It's hazy. Looks like a, like the New England style. Uh, half a finger of bright white head. It's dissipating pretty quickly. It looks awesome in that glassware. You guys play duck hunt, right? I mean, I know I'm old, but I'm not that old. Hopefully, you guys who watch this know what duck hunt is. If you don't know what duck hunt is, fuck. I just I'm gonna stop reviewing beers and talking to people on the internet. Shover knows in it. Wow, this has like that, this immediately reminds me of like when you open those cans of fruit cocktail, like that syrupy, like fruitiness, <laughs> it smells like that. There's tons of like pineapple and like, I don't even know what fruit that, like what is in fruit cocktail? There's pineapple, there's, what's the syrupy can stuff? It smells like that. It's like a passion fruity like guava thing. This almost has like that aroma of like those naked juices. This smells really, really good. Especially, I mean, 8.2%, there is no booze anywhere. This beer, it's, I mean, this is a juice bomb for me. It, I don't get like that kind of crusty, crackery, white bready thing. It is, it's just straight tropical fruits, a little bit of like sweet tangerine, some sweet citrus in there, but it's mainly like pineapple, guava, passion fruit, even like some stone fruit in there. So I'm very excited to try this. Eric, cheers. Thank you, sir. That's really nice. It's got this cool, it, it's weird because it doesn't bite at your tongue, but it has like this essence of like pithy citrus. Think of like peeling an orange and like having the white pith, like orange pith still on the orange and having that flavor, but not having like that citrus bitterness on your tongue. It reminds me of that. Tastes very much follows the nose though. It's, it's fruity, passion fruity, guava, um, sweet orange, sweet tangerine. That kind of pithiness kind of gets you mid palate to finish and just stays the rest of the way. That, the tropical fruitiness that's up front, it kind of gets, uh, I don't even know what the word is. It gets like taken over by like the sweet orange tangerine notes. Um, I will say 
if they brew this with oats, calling it an oat cream, this isn't like a real thick, chewy beer. Um, but that's not a, like, I don't care about that. This is one of those beers at 8.2%. You don't taste the booze. It's really, really drinkable since you're not like chewing on it. It's not like this crazy, um, like thick viscous beer. Although I didn't smell like any kind of bready malts, there's a good like crackery, crusty white bread thing. The hops just sit on. It works well. It balances it. It's funny because as this is warming, it wants to get more like biting on my tongue, but like that kind of pithy citrus thing, just the essence of it's there. I've never experienced that with a beer, I don't think. Whenever a beer is usually like pithy orange peel, it kind of gets like that biting bitter thing on your palate. This doesn't have that. Um, I mean, this is juice for days. It's really, <laughs> really, really good. Um, I kind of wish I had like a fresh spindle tap beer to like compare to this because people be like oh what do you think like how does it compare to spindle tap i think this is fantastic um i guess now as i'm talking there's a little bit of that citrus kind of acidic bite that's coming out it's really really subtle though um but i kind of feel like this wants to do like that east coast west coast mishmash thing which i really enjoy this isn't like that soft kind of juice bomby thing i think the more it warms because it's getting it's warm out in the garage it'll come out even more this is awesome though Good first beer from uh, Turning Point. For me, this is like a 94. This is a solid A. Good, good stuff. So um, <laughs> I like that it's called Biscuits and Gravy. It has nothing to do with what the beer tastes like, but I like that. So uh, Eric, I appreciate you. Has anyone had this beer? Let's talk about it. Have you had any other uh, Turning Point beers? I would love to hear about them. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go 94. Good, good stuff. So uh, I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all.